go, Gygar is a must watch for mecha anime fans. These good days are some of our favorite days. The boutique licensing company never disappoints with its combination of classic titles and forgotten classics. Fans were especially excited to hear that they were license rescued Go Gygar, the King of Braves. This capstone on Sunrise's Yusha series is beloved for good reason. If you've seen it already, you know why. If you miss it, until now. If you love mecha anime, here's why you need it in your Blu-ray collection. Larger than life action. If you're a fan of series like Aim for the Gun Dump, Gun Buster, and Gora Lagan, then Go Gygar will be right up your street. The series follows the Gassi Gerald Guard an organization deploying giant robots to keep the planet safe, leading the charge of cyborg guy, Shishio, an ex-astronaut who survived a collision with a robot space lion with me so far, good. Guy combines with Galion, the information lion, and three Gao machines to become Gao Gaigar, whose focus over the course of the series is fighting the Zonder. These alien invaders possess earthlings and become horrifying monsters, equated with explosive weapons and attended by combining AI mecha Guy fights strong, seemingly impossible gods. Familiar voices. Speaking of Gora Lagan, it shares a few voice actors with Go Gaigar. Guy himself is voiced by Nobuyuki Hiyama, the voice of Viro, and his shouty best. Katsuyuki Konishi, the voice of Kamina, appears as a ninja robot Bo Fulfog, and the Lake Yoshi Kobayashi, best known as Jigen the Lupin III, narrates every episode. The extended cast of robot characters has some fantastic voice acting turns as well. Shinichi Yamada single-handedly voices four separate mecha and the four combined mecha they can become. And theme singer Masaaki Endo provides the singing voices for Mech Saunders, the Thuriet. The list go goes on. You'd like to hear at least a few familiar voices as you watch. Surprising story. Sunrise's Yusha franchise was, to be frank, initially a way to sell toys to kids. And Go Gaigar still sold toys, but while there are child protagonists, much of the story focuses on older hero heroes. 20 year old guy, his love interest Mikoto, and the rest of GGG. And what starts as a very simple Monster of the Week series pivots sharply at the halfway point. We wouldn't even hint at all how. It's an intense turn, and it's worth seeing it for yourself. There's also a sequel over. Go Gaigar Final, which will apparently be getting a release as well. We can wait to see what's on Discotex Kitchen Sink, released and revisit the King of Braves after all these years. Neighbor Mecha Anime, here are some suggestions for Gundam the Witch for Mercury fans.